Hi students! Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am Mam Dea, and today we will be discussing a few concepts about the last module of third quarter grade 10 science. In this module, the most essential learning competencies are to explain how species diversity increases the probability of adaptation and survival of organisms in changing environments and explain the relationship between population growth and carrying capacity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is a term used to describe the differences or variations of organisms. When we say organisms, it could refer to plants, it could be animals, fungi, virus and bacteria, and many more. Biodiversity tells us that we are all interconnected. Tayong lahat ay magkakaugnay. When you were in the lower grades, you studied the food chain. What is a food chain? A food chain shows the sequence on how organisms feed on one another, showing how energy is transferred. In the example given on the screen, we can see the grass eaten by the grasshopper, the grasshopper eaten by the frog, the frog eaten by the snake, and the snake eaten by the hawk. There is a sequence. Hindi pwedeng kakainin ng grasshopper ang frog dahil ang arrow ay patungo sa frog. Kung saan nakatutok ang arrow, yon ang kakain sa organism na sinundan niya. May kita natin dito na isang linya lang ang ating food chain. On the other hand, we also have what we call an ecological pyramid or an energy pyramid. An energy pyramid is a graphical representation showing the flow of energy in a trophic level in an ecosystem. Ang bawat level na makikita ninyo sa inyong screen ay tinatawag natin na trophic level. A trophic level is the group of organisms within an ecosystem which occupy the same level in a food chain or an energy pyramid. The width of each bar in the energy pyramid shows the amount of energy in each trophic level. So, ibig sabihin, dahil isa itong pyramid, may kita natin na pinakamalawak or pinakamalaki ang width ay nasa ibaba. And this part is occupied by the producers. Plants are producers. Producers are organisms that can make their own food using sunlight. On top of the producers, we have the consumers. And also, when the consumer dies, the energy will then be transferred to a decomposer. Biodiversity plays an important role in the adaptation and survival of living organisms. Now, let's discuss some important terms about biodiversity. First is population. Population is a group of living organisms belonging to same species that live in a certain geographical area. That group of living organisms can be a group of humans, It can also be a group of animals, just like this school of fish. Or it can also be a group of plants, just like this cornfield. We also have the term population growth. 
A population growth shows us the trend whether a certain population is increasing or decreasing. Population growth can be affected by a lot of factors. It can be affected by natality or birth, mortality or death, immigration, which is moving into an area, emigration or moving from an area, and geographical space and availability of resources. We have two models for population growth. The first model is an exponential model. In this model, organisms reproduce at a constant rate. The graph is an exponential graph, which is a J-shaped graph. On the other hand, we also have what we call a logistic growth. In logistic growth, organisms reproduce increasingly but gradually decreases due to a finite amount of resources. Unlike exponential growth, logistic growth depicts an S-shaped curve. And you can see on top that there is a broken line which shows the carrying capacity of an environment. What is a carrying capacity? The carrying capacity is the maximum amount of population that a certain area can support. Comparing the two growth models, we can say that the logistic growth model is more realistic because resources would be limited, causing the gradual decrease in population. That's all for this very short video lesson. I hope you have learned some important concepts about biodiversity. See you in my next video lesson. Bye!